Daisy the dinosaur becomes a farmer. One day as Daisy was walking through her local market, she noticed that there was no food. She was really worried about what her friends would eat and wondered what she could do to help. She came up with an idea that if she became a farmer, she would be able to grow enough food to feed all of her friends. Daisy told her teacher this idea and her teacher offered to help her. Daisy's teacher said that she would build her four garden beds of X and Y length to go into her garden. She just had to provide the dimensions. Daisy went up to her computer and looked up what the average garden size was. She found that the average garden is about 600 square feet with side lengths of 20 feet and 30 feet, making the perimeter 100 feet. So, Daisy decided to use the same perimeter of 100 feet, but maximize the area within the garden. She thought that she would need two feet in between each garden bed and the fence so that she could walk through it, making the length 4x plus 10 and the width y plus 4. She solved for um, the y variable using the perimeter of 100 and found that y is equal to 36 minus 4x. Using this, she plugged it into the area equation because she now knows both length and width. She found that the area equation was negative 16x squared plus 120x plus 400. And then she took the derivative of that and came up with a prime is equal to 120 minus 32x. She set that equal to zero to find her x and y dimensions of the garden beds, where x is equal to 3.75 feet and y is equal to 21 feet. She then plugged these back into the perimeter equation to make sure that the um, dimensions fit and were accurate. She also plugged them back into the area equation to show that she was maximizing her area. To prove this, she did the first derivative test and found that um, when x is 3.75, it is indeed a local max. So the garden beds, according to Daisy's calculations, had to be 3.75 feet by 21 feet. And Daisy told this to her teacher who made her the garden beds. In the end, Daisy was able to feed all of her dinosaur friends, and they are super happy.